Welcome to the post game show following overtime and a Lafayette victory. Every gift matters every year. Join the Maroon Club today. Here is Dan Mowdy with Coach O'Hanlon and our pace and our player of the game. Hey, just a simple warm up before this team goes into action against Kentucky. Fran O'Hanlon, the head coach of the Lafayette Leopards. You told us this is a, a dynamite team, and if they did have a draft to pick NEC players for the squads here in the NEC, three of these guys probably would be in the first round, if not the first three picks. It, they're a terrific team, all right, and it was a terrific effort on our part. And as you saw, when we jumped off to a good start, and they're not going to go away. They're just they're a championship program, and uh, and I think this is a tremendous win for us. Uh, you know, I think I had a career high in subs tonight. You know, I, I don't know that. Coach, well, what were some of the things that went right? I know in the first half you were concerned about shot selection. You were saying bad shots were resulting in fast breaks for the Blackbirds. Well, you know, we, there's a way people play us. They're going to push up on us. I, we talked about us getting the ball inside because that's going to slow them down a little bit. And if we can get some post touches, I think Dan can score in there. And he showed that tonight. Uh, when they got out and got fast breaks, it was because we took a couple bad shots, ill advised shots. And, uh, but I thought it was a tremendous team effort. A lot of people really contributed and got some play in time, and uh, it, it was a great win for us. You know, we were hoping you were going to sneak into Kentucky and maybe take one there. You guys are not so uh, covert anymore after tonight. Well, let me enjoy tonight's game, Dan, <laughs> and then we'll worry about Kentucky on Friday. Sounds good. Fran O'Hanlon, the first year, or, excuse me, the head coach of the Lafayette Leopards. He's a little fast this first year, but congratulations, Fran. Thank you. All right, let's talk to second year man, Dan Trest, with a career high 30 points tonight, our Coca-Cola player of the game. Dan, congratulations, tremendous effort. You know, their forecourt was just as heralded as their backcourt. Didn't seem to mind to you. Um, you know, I think our, our team did a great job of, like Coach said, getting the ball inside and, uh, you know, we worked it around, got it through hands, and I happened to get some shots. Uh, I made them, so you know, I felt good today. This team really looked like in, in championship season form. Tell us a little bit about some of the combinations and some of the gelling. It seems like a lot of guys were kicking in assists down low to where you were, ready to score. Um, you know, like I said, we, uh, we had a plan, you know, before the game to, you know, make sure we got it inside so we could space the floor for our shooters. And... Uh, I think that worked well for us tonight, and, and you know, coach got everyone in. Everyone played well. You know, everyone did a good job moving the ball, uh, getting the right guys shots, and, and we got stops. You know, that helps. When you get stops, you know, you feel good, and yeah, it allowed us to run our stuff. All right, that's Dan Trist, 30 points tonight, bettering his former career best 16. Congratulations, our Coca-Cola player of the game. Thank you very much. All right, back to Gary and John. Well, I don't think we can expect him to get a career night every night, but on game <laughs> one he got a career night. Now game two he's added to that with uh, the 30 points. It's time for the uh, highlights of tonight's ball game, and John will take us through those. Well, shit, shit the bottom of 94, but boy, the quickness and the speed of uh, Brickman finding C.J. Garner in transition. That was one illustration of the athleticism of this team, and man, they got going uh, from outside, E.J. Reed from, from downtown, and then on the inside, uh, the little fella really got it going. That was number four off the bench. Uh, 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 Jarrell Martin, Here's a great anticipation by Joey Tuzinski. One of those plays, just a clever play. Lafayette hanging around, hanging around. Seth Hendricks, you know, if it weren't for Danny Trist, Seth Hendricks would have been our player of the game. It would have been a landslide. Seth Hendricks came up with so many big plays down the stretch in tandem. Those two guys did such a terrific job. Here, uh, Seth shows you his uh, the, the versatility in his game. Danny Trist, two of his 30. I mean, he was just a, such a force down low. Watch the little jump hook. And again, last year, Gary, these moves were not there. He just wasn't confident. Great ball movement here. Danny Trist showing his versatility as he steps away from the basket. Here's a li little give and go out of the inbounds play. This was huge at the time. You can start to see the body, uh, uh, the, the posture, the, 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 the demeanor of LIU. They're getting the daubers down. Great pass from Hendricks to Trist. Great interior passing. These young fellas are starting to get it, Gary. They're starting to get the system. And when that happens with a young team, with a skill set that these guys have, you never know. They weren't picked to do much in the preseason, but Fran O'Hanlon has a plan. Well, the Barclays Classic Tournament is not going to be fun, as Lafayette will take on Kentucky next, Moorhead State after that, and Maryland after that, and all of those games uh, are away, not here. There you get a look at the numbers. Great individual game tonight. Uh, Jamal Alassaware, certainly uh, the star on the LIU side, but got a lot of help from Garner and Brickman. 
and uh, Boyd, but Lafayette picking up 50 points out of Dan Trist and Seth Hendricks. Tony Johnson with a great floor game. Joey Tuzinski with a dozen. As uh, Tony Johnson uh, uh, tonight with four rebounds and seven assists. Jack Detmer did pick up a point tonight. Uh, we only have room for uh, so many players, <laughs> and every Lafayette Leopard got in the mix. So the final numbers, the 94 points for LIU Brooklyn, 27 field goals. They had nine triples. They were 31 for 38 from the foul line. And that's how they got their 94 points. On the other side for Lafayette, 34 field goals. They shot 53% from the floor and 50% from beyond the arc. They were 8 for 16, 22 for 28 from the free throw line. And that got them their 98 points. And Dan Trist with a Superman effort tonight, 30 points. This has been fun. Join us for the women on Wednesday night when they take on Villanova. We'll have that game live for you at 7 o'clock. And Lafayette Lehigh, Saturday afternoon, game number 148. We'll have that for you live at 1 o'clock. It's been fun for John Leone, Dan Mounty, Rick Gio, the RCN television team. Thanks for watching game one of what should be a very exciting basketball season. For all of us, I'm Gary Laubach. Good night, everybody.